so now that I'm logged in on administrator 10 I still want to make an actual terminal for myself my company so what I want to do is I want to go to setups main system setups and terminal setup and you can't delete a terminal you can only erase the information that's on it so I'll choose terminal 5 coffee shop sample and I'm gonna click details and as you can see here there's already everything filled out for it so what I have to do is I have to do edit and I'll just disable that and it'll erase everything and it'll say it's not assigned now what I want to do is I just want to go back to details and as you can see everything is empty so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up for edit and I'm gonna put out all the information of my company so for workstation name um, we'll just put in you know restaurant let's say for password I don't really need to put a password only if you want to and uh, of course you want to activate it you want to put access to this account for everything so you can change everything a uh, company we're gonna set later printers and hardware what you want to do here is you would want to set the printer that you set up when you set up your hardware so receipt printer name I would just click on the question mark and I would choose a printer from the drop down list and then I would accept it but on this computer I don't have any printers set up so I can't put any on and then receipt printer cutter command usually with, an Ep with the Epson printers that we provide it's Ithaca so 11 plus 26 you can put a logo if you want and then a remote printer cutter command would be the same thing depending on your printer and you can set all the other printers if you want the cash drawer name is usually your Epson printer that you set for your receipt printer pull display the ones we provide are usually called generic text only and the poll model is ultimate and the rest you can configure to the hardware you have POS screen options we don't need to change anything and payment preferences if you have any preferences to your payments then you can edit that there and then all you want to do when you're done is you just want to save it so as you can see here, it says restaurant. 